So these are the 10 most crucial things that you must do right after installing Ubuntu 22.04. So let's move on to the first thing, which is to update Ubuntu. Open up a new terminal, type in the command sudo apt update and hit enter. Type in the password and wait for the libraries to be updated. After that, to install all the updates, simply type in the command sudo apt upgrade and add in a flag which is hyphen y and hit enter. Then simply wait for the downloading and installation process to complete. After that, your Ubuntu is totally up to date. Turning the firewall on. Now Ubuntu comes with the UFW firewall, but it is turned off from the start. To check the status of the firewall, type in the command sudo systemctl status UFW and hit enter. As you can see that the UFW service is not turned on. So to turn it on, Simply type in the command sudo systemctl enable ufw. This is going to turn on the service of the ufw firewall. Also, if you want to turn on the GRI ufw, type in the command sudo apt install guFw and hit enter. After you have turned on the firewall or installed the GRI firewall, you can turn it on from the app drawer. So from the app drawer, simply type in firewall and open up this firewall configuration and from here, you can turn on the status which would turn on the firewall. This is a really crucial step because with the new installation of Ubuntu, you want to turn on the firewall as soon as possible because sometimes when you're working with the open source packages, they contain some nasty viruses. So to keep yourself safe, always turn on the firewall. Next up, we have preload. We want the mostly viewed applications to launch very fast. So we have this package which is preload. And if we install this package, we are able to increase the loading time of the apps which are mostly viewed. So open up a new terminal and type in the command sudo apt install preload. This is going to install the preload and set it up for your Ubuntu installation. Now preload greatly increases the launch time speed of the recently or the mostly viewed applications. Next up we have online accounts. Whenever you're working with an Ubuntu installation or any other operating system, you want your accounts to be completely synchronized. So that way you don't have to worry about moving from one operating system to another operating system or from one machine to another machine. So from here, click on online accounts. From here, you can log into the famous accounts and integrate them with your Ubuntu operating system. Now, as you can see that I have linked my Gmail account with my Ubuntu installation. Next up, we have the additional drivers. So to install additional drivers, you can simply open up the app drawer and search for software updater. From here, simply switch to the additional drivers tab, select the driver that you want to install and simply click on apply changes. Next up, we have the genome tweaks. Ever since the Ubuntu started coming out with genome, customizing Ubuntu is a piece of cake. But even then, you sometimes you need another application or software to help you tweak your Ubuntu genome. So open up a new terminal and type in the command sudo apt install genome hyphen tweaks this installs another application or software on your ubuntu installation that helps you customize the genome you can even download the genome shell extension by typing in the command sudo apt install genome hyphen shell hyphen extensions and hit enter now to actually customize the genome simply open up the app drawer and search for tweaks open up the tweaks application and from here you can totally customize your genome you can change the appearance the font, startup applications, top bar, windows and much more. Next up the list we have installing the codex. Obviously when you are working with Ubuntu as your main operating system, you want it to run all the media files including all the videos and all the audio types. So open up a new terminal, type in the command sudo apt install ubuntu hyphen restricted hyphen extras to unlock the media codex. After the media codecs have been installed in your Ubuntu installation, you can opt out to install some kind of media player as well, such as VLC. So to install VLC, simply type in the command sudo apt install VLC and hit enter. After that, your Ubuntu installation can run audio files and video files of almost every type. Next up is installing your favorite browser. Now Ubuntu 22.04 comes with Firefox as the default browser. But most of the users have reported that Firefox is really slow. So you can download your favorite browser by downloading the Debian package and then right click on the downloaded package and choose open with other applications and then from here choose software install and hit select. This should install your favorite browser on your Ubuntu 22.04 installation, the dark mode and nightlight. 
Now it is not a crucial step after installing Ubuntu 22.04 but is still a really good step for personal preferences. So simply open up the app drawer and type in settings and from here go to appearances and choose the dark accent theme. Now Ubuntu does not only ship with a dark theme it also comes with accent colors. Ubuntu ships with 10 default accent colors from which you can choose from. Also if you head inside the displays tab you can turn on the night light which is a really good thing if you're using your machine during the night. You can turn on the night light and even choose a manual time to turn this on automatically after a certain time has passed. And lastly, at the end of this video, we have cleaning junk. After installing a lot of packages, you are left with a lot of junk on your Ubuntu installation. So to clean that up, simply open up a new terminal and type in the command sudo apt install bleachbit. Now bleachbit is a really great software to get rid of all the unnecessary sudo packages or installation packages from your Ubuntu installation. Just make sure to run the bleachbit as the root user and then you can choose the type of files that you want to delete from your Ubuntu installation. For instance, if I want to delete the apt files, simply select apt and hit clean. This should delete all the apt files from your Ubuntu installation and free up the disk space from your Ubuntu installation. So those were the 10 most crucial steps that you should take after installing Ubuntu 22.04.